Hi everyone, Sue Sigaris here. There are three things that we need in order for psychological wellness to be solid. This is based on the work of Desi and Ryan and others in the field of positive psychology. The three factors that we need are the feeling of autonomy. We need to feel autonomous. We need to feel that we have choice. The second is that we need to have relatedness. We need to feel connection with others. And the third is that we need to have a sense of competence that we actually are capable and we can perform activities and solve problems and do whatever it is that we need to do in our daily lives, in our work. So it made me think, you know, recently, well, these times that we're living in, um, there is so much imposed structure and uh, limit, perceived limitations and real limitations. And people are reacting to our current pandemic situation and the lockdown in so many different ways. And my clients are finding quite a variation of reactions amongst their own team members. And in talking with people about this, what I've discovered is working really well is to get your team involved and engaged in some of the decision making where you can as you're formulating the policies that you need to formulate on a daily basis in response to the changes that are happening and that way people are actually feeling that they have some autonomy that they have some choice within maybe a limited range of options but at least they have some choice the second part is to have them feeling that they're related that they're still a team and sometimes my clients are, are even having casual get-togethers. It's not always formal meetings. Um, yes, it is still on Zoom or whatever platform they're using, but less formal and more fun. And then thirdly, that feeling of having competence and capability and being able to get the outcomes that you need to get and move things forward and achieve things. And that's probably one of the toughest ones at the moment. And so it comes back to, you know, tackling what we can tackle and choosing to put aside perhaps for a little while the things that we can't and then remembering that there are also some things that we could now explore and try and I've even had people make complete career changes and transitions in this time uh, opening up to new fields of endeavor things they've had on the back burner because they now have the time and the opportunity to do it so remember those three things if you can and see if you can optimize them even within the space that you're living in we need autonomy, we need relatedness, and we need to feel that we're competent and capable. And I'll check in with you again next week. Bye.